President Biden's political future could all come down to a single news conference set to take place later today. Um, it could show Mr. Biden's last chance or could be his last chance to revive his reelection campaign. Doug Luzader has more from Washington. Well, the White House has taken to calling this a big boy press conference today, meaning the president will face extensive questioning from the media, and it is going to be a critical test. May we continue to grow stronger and closer in all the years ahead. President Biden leading a toast to the future at the NATO summit in Washington, just as his own political fortunes remain cloudy. We're all encouraging him uh, to, to make that decision uh, because time is running short. A former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, a key Biden ally, sent a not-so-subtle message yesterday suggesting the president should rethink his decision to stay in the race. More Democrats in Congress, including a senator now, say he should exit. Biden advisors today will meet with Senate Democrats hoping to keep the rest on board, and the president does have some support. I'm showing up with brass knuckles, and I'm all in on Joe Biden. But to make matters worse for the president, actor George Clooney, who just last month hosted a glitzy Hollywood fundraiser for the president, wrote in the New York Times that he should drop out. It's devastating to say it, but the Joe Biden I was with three weeks ago at the fundraiser was not the Joe big effing deal Biden of 2010. He wasn't even the Joe Biden of 2020. He was the same man we all witnessed at the debate is the next domino. We've seen it with donors, we're seeing it with Hollywood, we've seen it with the mainstream media, allies that the president had. The bigger problem here is that as long as this conversation is dominating the campaign, Trump is winning. But Biden has been emphatic. He will remain in the race, he says, with a campaign stop set for tomorrow in Michigan. In Washington, I'm Doug Glusader for Good Day.